Yaraya. A silly face, but yet holding Every such good times. Pyra was in there once. Mm-hmm. Everyone was. <laughs> I wonder where she is at this point in time. Mm. Mithra too. I should write this all down. Yeah, Mio, I would too. We've got a long track of, we got a long list of people in which we need to try and find. On that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we took care of Grey's Hero Quest and got him up to level 20. This time, mysterious assailant. Sounds like a scoop. How fitting, because we know who it is. And let us begin, as we normally do with these episodes, and go over how much of an <laughs> oblivious idiots we are. <laughs> because off screen, we have just been, you know, running around, just do it, seeing things and doing things. And yet we've come across a lack of our own hubris. So much so we have uncovered not one, not two, not three, maybe even four? Mm-hmm. Is Uni gonna die? No, she's fine. Yuni's the boss. She don't die easily. Be rude not to. That's one gold chest. Two gold chests. I believe this is also the place at the home of of um of death on a stick. Death on a stick. This is the forest with the mahusive um, unique monster. Whoa, red, dude, I think. Right if not, I don't think... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah well, uh, let's... Uh... You're going to take him on, aren't you? <laughs> Do it! <laughs> take him! No, I'm joking. You don't have to. I just wanted to see what level he was, because I wasn't sure if he was a level 70 or not. And if he was, I would have taken him. Well, he is a grand depth, and he's going to be a grand old time when we inevitably kill his grand ass. But anyway, regardless, <laughs> let us go off and, and find more things. Because clearly we forgot a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So many chests we overlooked. <laughs> yep, so many sights and sounds and so much stuff. Hey, is that anything? Yeah, like this. How in the... How in the flaming hell of Laura's hair strands did we miss this? <laughs> Laura's hair strands. <laughs> How in the sunning hell did we miss that of all places? It was right there at the exit! God! Uh -huh. And if you thought we was silly enough to miss one. No, you be incorrect, good sir. Or madam, again, all inclusive here. Still in this region, we forgot yet another one. But luckily though, at least we have not forgotten any more corpses. I think it'd be a bit callous if I were to forget a, a corpse. You know, just one Sunday morning going like, oh, oh yes, I forgot, there's a dead body back out there that I haven't taken out yet. Mm -hmm. And also that up there I noticed. What, that? Mm-hmm. Have we been there before? Well, this area of the map was unmarked until now. Hmm. I wonder if that place was, I think that might have been the place in which we escaped from Kevus Castle. Could be. When we took out Relia. Relia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Robomelia. It's also the name of a knight's antagonist. That's right, I'm tying things back into franchises which have been woefully underused. Well, it's like a lot of Sega's IPs. But anyway. Now, I'm sorry. I am pretty much convinced that these, these either respawn or we just never, ever, ever, ever... <laughs> Locked on this segment. Well, we probably didn't look around this area because it's full of antagonistic cavessi. Yeah, I think this might have also been a place of the um, of the exercise that we did with the guards. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, there we are. 
And is that everything we've seen? So far that I found, yes. Okay, well, after that brief five minutes of um, embarrassing, well, obliviousness, you'd probably describe us as, you know, a bit oblivious, a little bit silly. A bit of a klutz, if you will. Mm -hmm. And that ties in lovely to the subject matter of today's video. As you eagle-eyed viewers might notice, we have the lovely Miyabi here in our party. And because of two episodes ago, thanks to, well, Mia Wu and Senna dressing up as fangirls, mm -hmm. we now have the ability to do one final check. And hopefully it's a good one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing Miyabi's Hero Quest today. Hopefully, good times will be abound. Will we laugh? Will we cry? Will we smile? Or will we hate? Who knows? Hey, I wonder what they're drawing there. Look at the question mark that's just looming over the horizon. All right, me Abby. What do we have? It seems pretty lively over there. What's the occasion? There's supposed to be some kind of cooking contest. Maybe they're preparing for it. Ha uh ha! -huh. Someone say cooking contest. You think they'd let me participate? Huh? I didn't know you cooked lambs. Me? Nah. I'm all about the eating. Think of all that grub! Oh, maybe I should join too. Hey there, folks. Travis, Monica, we just heard about this cooking contest. Yeah, it's kind of a tradition around here. You know how the world is. Can't set foot outside without putting yourself in danger. People are going stir-crazy, all shut up with nowhere to go. They need a bit of light entertainment to diffuse some of that stress. So these contests are kind of a regular thing. This seems like the perfect opportunity for you to join in. To sample the food? Ah, I'm afraid the judges are selected by majority vote. They've already been decided well in advance. That said, the winning dishes do get shared among the audience. So, you'd like us to join as chefs? Yes! Count Manana in! Manana been champing at bit for cookery action! <laughs> yeah. This event's pretty much made for Manana. What? Could I? Could I join as well? I like your spirit. You're both very welcome. Looks like you'll have your work cut out for you, eh, boss? You said it, Travis. I'll let you prepare the lucky spice. Oh, crap. Not that stuff. There are no binding rules, no themes to follow. You're free to make whatever you like. But you are expected to bring your own ingredients. Once you have them, take them to Michiba at her canteen. She'll hold on to them for you. Hearing loud and clear! I'll see you at the contest then. Looking forward to it. Banana not pull punches! We rivals now, Miss Miyabi. Yes, let's do this. Since when did you learn to cook, Miyabi? You never told me. <laughs> I've only dabbled, really. Right. We better go out looking for our ingredients, eh? Hold on. We haven't even decided what we're going to make yet. Ah, uh -huh. just testing it. Before we decide, maybe we should ask around the city first. See what kind of foods they like. Their favorite seasonings. That should give us enough to make a start on. True. We need some kind of direction to start with before we can think about making anything. Something on your mind, Mia? I was just thinking. 
It's unusual for Miyabi to voice her interest in something like this. Before, she'd always tried to avoid anything that involved competition. So this is kind of a surprise. Ha, huh, I see. Well, all the more reason for us to cheer her on. Yeah. time uh, who do we ask hmm someone who catches our eye well I don't know what you mean by that because looks is in the eyes as a beholder my dear mm-hmm hmm? I think we'd be better off asking the folk at the canteen though they must know lots about the contest so you're entering the cook-off too are you looks like we're getting another great turnout by the way, we wanted to ask, what sort of dishes did they present in the past contests? Oh, we've had just about everything we could think of. Strange delicacies, traditional meals, all sorts then. Uh, so what sort of food you dish ends up being the favorite? Oh, they love just about anything. Do whatever inspires you. You can't really game the system since you only learn who the judges are going to be on the day. That's tricky. For me though, I'd look for a flavor that would appeal to the widest audience. So, a sweet then. Yeah. Meh. Cooking contest? No had almost slipped off mind of QBB. Quickly, mustn't grow to on delicious dishes. <laughs> you look like you're looking forward to this. Not like that. Um. This time about to cut there. Audio cable popped out. My bad. Uh, Kibibo has high hopes for real, uh, for a uh, for real deal meal to <laughs> make pepper pops, as in like a meal deal. Meal deal. So it's like people who want something with a big, a bit of oomph, yeah. Unexpected dish to show to take judges by wildfire. Fierce wave of emotion bleed through taste buds. Take them by surprise with a dish that leaves a powerful impression. That's in the good direction to lean in. But whatever is present, you be still perfectly happy as long as meal is tasty. Yeah, <laughs> so you don't even care. Well, I do see where you're coming from. These people are the worst. It's like a case of, hey pal, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? That's what I'm asking you. I don't know. What do you want to do? It's like, ah! I feel like I'm kind of like that, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, Fun is fun! Pick fun! <laughs> Meanwhile, homecoming right. Great. One thing we all wish we could forget. Yeah. Also, I like how they said, hmm, we should ask people around the canteen. Yeah, sure. Let's talk and direct someone that is nowhere near. Nowhere near the canteen. What's you got? Maxi mushrooms? Hey, you're planning on having someone Dynamax? Linking everything together. Can we find out something from May? Although to be honest, Xenoblade 3 uh, runs better. She gave me a nibble dipped in chocolate sauce the other day. Oh, the cooking contest. So it's that time already. Is it really as popular as they say? Is it really popular as they say? We're here now. Well, some of us. Yeah, it is. Not just because of the contest itself, but because everyone gets a bite of the winning dish. I reckon a lot of people are looking forward to that part. I know I am. <laughs> but you know I'd enjoy it more if it was something I could cook myself. What's so funny? <laughs> just, you just know we're in time on the background. <laughs> what are they, box boys? <laughs> Alrighty, box boys, let's go. They always prepare nothing but the finest ingredients. Must be tough finding all that. I bet you could still make a delicious meal with perfectly, perfectly ordinary stuff. Yes, put in a little effort and you can make any meal tasty. That's definitely one way of looking at it. Interesting. Cooking scares me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm over here with tie on. <laughs> we have no part in this. We can't cook for shy. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies get sweet. We can't enter a kitchen. Yeah. We're, we're terrified. Tie on set a sandwich on fire and I forgot <laughs> I left the oven on. <laughs> tie on. You started a fire with milk and cereal. How did you do that? <laughs> well, um, I, I, um, on some recipes, um, I've heard you like boil the milk. What? <laughs> Let's talk to Rosanna. Uh, 
people were saying she won the contest before. Hello. Little miss, I'm going to portray Grey, except not, not really. Are you taking part in the cooking contest as well? I look forward to seeing your entries. Yeah, we're going to rinse this competition. About that, you wouldn't happen to know what kind of ingredients are popular in here, would you? Mm, well, the city folk are quite partial to big hearty meals. You can't go wrong with that. Hearty, yeah? We're always busy doing one thing or another. Perhaps that's why. We like our meals with punch and in large portions. Yes, I can definitely see that being popular. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. I can't speak for the whole city, but anyway, good luck. And then she vanished. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We've heard from lots of people now. Okay, do we want to go through it all then? I mean, this place is based on Australia, so you know they do like their meaty portions in the outback. Uh. I'm sure they have a good day with all the meat they have. Mm-hmm. And shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> shrimp on the barbie! Seriously, it's good stuff. You've had it before. Well, I've had shrimp. I've had barbecue shrimp before. Shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> what do you mean the shrimp has to be on the barbie at the same time? God! Are you guys hungry? You mean I can't I'm have starving. tuna mixed with barbecue sauce and that somehow doesn't count? Oy. Um, about that thing. Everybody's super excited for this contest. Most likely they're excited about getting a taste of the winning meal. Hey, Miyabi, can I ask you something? Hmm, sure. You didn't enter this contest just because you wanted to win, did you? No, I didn't. It's because I feel indebted to the people of the city. I want to take this opportunity to show them my appreciation. Oh, how sweet. That's just like you. Yeah, you haven't changed a bit. You've always been like this. Hmm, regardless of material motive of Miyabi, Manana in it to win it. Will not hesitate to clash with full force of Manana might. That's totally fine, Manana. Give it your all. Alright, let's go over what we've learned. From what we've heard, we should serve a huge boss of something with a flavor of packs or wallop. It seems the presentation is also high recommended in addition to flavor. Something that will deliver an impact. An important... an impact, huh? That's send the bar pretty high. But others were saying they'd like homemade dishes, something they'd be feel familiar with. Given that we don't know who the judges will be, it might be best to go for something neutral that everyone can enjoy. So does this mean that they'll pretty much enjoy whatever we throw at them? In that case, I think I know it might be good to try. <laughs> Secret weapon of banana will sure fire guarantee win. Hmm, you're looking pretty confident there, love. <laughs> That's because banana already thought of ultimate recipe of ultimate delicious. Current name of dish is closely guarded secret. Hmm, yes. You don't want to be telling your competitors. Exactly. Anticipation must be savored. Looks like you two already have got your entry sword. Guess next up is getting the ingredients? What do you need for your dish, Manana? Eh, <laughs> Manana will need model Marvel Aries meat, Killjoy crust dip meat, Cozy Rogo eggims, and Lucky Marin thick cuts. Uh, they're pretty big deal, is what I'm getting here. How about you, Miyabi? Uh, smushy rice, refreshing pranics meat, glitter radishes, and soy primo sauce. Though we can probably ask the city folk to share some with us. Huh, that all sounds like pretty average stuff. Yeah, um, I really like to prepare uh, something that anyone can make, using familiar ingredients. Yeah, you're totally winning people over that way. So, who to start with? Well... Seeing how we're doing Miyabi's quest, I think, like, the thing is obvious. We could start with Miyabi's. Thank you. I hope you'll find them without much trouble. We probably have the majority of them already, but I digress. It's cooking common petition, and I don't know why. I kind of like the thought of Manana being like a form of Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. It's like, mm, me not be doing it wrong, you donkey. <laughs> Shrimple enough. <laughs> Shrimple enough. What's happening? <laughs> hey, you don't have a cow, man, because it's not in your recipe. <laughs> What's that look for, Mio? You got beef for me? Nah, oh, man, we need a good cut of Agnes, don't we? Boxy. Maybe we should ask her. Okay. Boxy. 
Oh, hey, Miyabi. You're with your friends today. Yes. Sorry if we're bothering you. Not at all. Not at all. Always nice to see you. So what brings you here? Actually, I've decided to enter the cooking contest. Oh, really? I'd like it if you came. I'm going to try as hard as I can. Sweetie, I would love to. I'll be cheering you on all the way. There's one other thing. I have a request, if it's not too much trouble. Tell me, anything I can do to help. Would you mind sharing some of your Soy Primo sauce? Your homemade recipe. My sauce is going to feature. This just keeps getting better and better. Please, take as much as you need. I'm sure it'll be enough, but if by any chance you run out, just swing by again. Romero absolutely loves that sauce. I've got jars full of the stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're getting awfully worked up about all this. Just relax and enjoy the experience. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> now, what did I just say? <laughs> Miyabi is so huggable. I know she. She's just. Oh, she's just so kind. <laughs> I. I don't know why. I'm just. I guess you could say I just. You gravitate to those sorts of people because you just want to give them a hug. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Boxy is cooking for Romero. I feel like he needs it. <laughs> He's probably eating one or two tubs of ice cream. Thank you for what you did at Corn Island. Gondor and the Orb Worlds candidates have, ne have really grown by coming into contact with you guys. Given any thought to Jansen yet? Oh, piss off. Oh, that, that'll that have to wait. Yeah, please, let it wait for a million years. I'll do everything I can to support you. If you defeat Mobius in the battle ahead, you'll finally set the world straight. I'm counting on you. Now, don't bother talking to Jansen. <laughs> Trust me. Great. That should be the last of Miyabi's ingredients. Yes, I think so. Thank you. Now for bananas. Hmm. What was on the list again? Was Muttle Marble Aries meat? Killjoy Crusted meat? Cozy Robo Egg Gems and Lucky Marin Thick Cuts? I might be a bit tricksy for friends, but Manana had confidence. I'm getting a little psyched for this. <laughs> Me too. I got worried when I saw the Killjoy crust it because I thought it, I, at first I thought it said Kill Happy and I know that's the name of a powerful, unique monster. Yep, he's in the ocean, but Manana she is in a world traveling mood because we have to go to every single region. My god! You don't have so much to do, you dear. <laughs> Just you watch now, I'm going to laugh my head off because it's going to turn out that Miyabi's dish is going to win. That's... Oh, that's, oh, that's the, the farm. That's the farm. No! Hard no on that one. It'll probably tell us where the monsters are. Oh, there they are. Right there, at the bottom. There. Oh. In that area. Yay. <laughs> Good luck! At least we don't have to worry about the terrain anymore. Oh, no. No, no. Thanks to Sagiri. And amazingly, after this, she's the only one left. Mm-hmm. Oh. We have to kill the little baby. <laughs> yes, do it! Do it! Make the child learn! <laughs> Make the child learn by dying! In this world, it makes sense! I'd say we were moving in sync, right, child? Go jump in a fire. That's <laughs> what my silence says to you. I'll never answer that, so you really need to stop asking. 
But what if I gave you chocolates and everything that you could ever want or ask for in the world? I don't care. Quite frankly, Noah, I couldn't give a toss. We're here to find food, kill things, and cook for Mimi Abby. Because keep in mind, Noah, this is about me, Abby, not about you. At least we're doing all this after a Monana's patch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> Manana cooking something which has no benefit to friends. Because Manana was just born and coded that way. Might as well. You're in our way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, I'm Torpan. Torpan sounds like a Pokemon. I'm the cousin of Donphan. You know him? <laughs> <laughs> we met each other at Four Legged Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, he's such a charmer, that guy. His trainer, Ash, is a pretty cool guy. I heard he became champion not too long ago. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty cool. Yeah. I wish I could roll like him, but he doesn't have as cool horns as I do. Why do you beat me up? What have I done? Anyway, we'll get to kill him. Zone has been hacked. And now we finally got a sense of danger. You know, as if we've been fearless and unnerved this entire time. Yeah. Like, oh look, Mio died. Eh, well, I don't get shaken easily. I like how the unique monster didn't give us what I need, but this random grunt is. No. Oh no, how very callous of him. <laughs> how shallow the game thinks of us. Its intentions ring hollow. That's enough rhyming because we got a herd bearing down on us, so we'll be right back. I also kind of missed this song. <laughs> you did? Yeah, haven't heard it in a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, damn! That recharge? Yeah. <laughs> And Mio's art of death really uh, puts into perspective the power that has. Is this like a Mio's art of death? Yeah, her finish for Ouroboros. Ah. Running circle lasers from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> a thing? A thing? A thing? For the stuff? For a stuff? <laughs> A singular stuff. <laughs> well, she's pissed. She's ha she has Gondor's class. I'm not shocked. <laughs> yeah, your dags are everywhere. <laughs> not gonna lie, I thought you were ship. <laughs> I thought. I thought you were taking a ride on the Ropple. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, okay, okay. A symbiotic relationship much? <laughs> oh well. The monster started fusing. fusing. <laughs> oh my god. The monster now becoming Ouroboros. Zed wanted to experiment with that. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wonder what could a bunnet and a taquilos be? Oh god. <laughs> no, I got the best idea. Burn it way with the wagon. <laughs> Just a burn it with dragon wings. Mm -hmm. Man, Yabi's class and Gondor's class are really compatible. They are. <laughs> Best of that art recharge. Wow. And you nice get to rank up on Gondor. Because you said you liked it. Why? Maybe it's the edge. <laughs> the waterfall? Maybe she, she saw the edge of the waterfall. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be here because of reasons. I'm scared of heights. Apparently I have PTSD for waterfalls. 
Yeah. <laughs> no man of love. What's the worst that can happen? Hello, Anzal, which we haven't... Oh my god, wow. I thought it was a unique monster we hadn't killed yet. Apparently not. Well, I guess it makes sense. We are stealing eggs from an Anzal nest. Wow, Manana, you're a monster. I was wondering what that empty Anzal nest was all about. Well, now we know. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> you stole our egg! <laughs> oh, they went down a ladder, it's fine. And the funny thing is, it doesn't count those roll goals. <laughs> oh, I know we've just watched our child be kidnapped, but, ah, uh, you know, they have, they're, on, they're on a ladder. <laughs> That's the equivalent of like someone kidnapping your child on the street and saying, no, 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 guys. He's on a tricycle. <laughs> Can't touch him. No. That's just bad manners. That's making me it's, like, <laughs> it's like, what? You can fly. <laughs> oh, game never ceased to amaze me. <laughs> That's all of the ingredients for the both of them. Tippy toppy job. Got everything you need now? Then I think it's about time to start the contest. Is everyone ready? It makes me wonder if those rogals will still be there after this quest. Like oh. the Ignas and the Definitive Edition. Oh what, are they gonna storm into with the cooking contest? <laughs> we're, the, we're gonna go back there and find them all still flying <laughs> around. Where, where's our egg? They see an omelette. Through the window. No, <laughs> Chester. <laughs> Chester Junior, how could you? <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> just have like a mini roast chicken and just take it piece by piece. <laughs> <laughs> and as you say, the animals are watching in horror oh. from a window somewhere. <laughs> 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 And if anyone in the comments is like, oh, you guys are horrible. Oh, yeah, shit. Well, guess what? Chickens and turkeys, they go through the same goddamn thing. <laughs> we are recording this right before Thanksgiving of 2022. There's turkeys now in the field somewhere going, Mom! No. Dad! And yet you're eating it, you monsters. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> You bet, we're ready to go. Looks like both the chefs and the judges are ready. Well, ladies and gents, it's time to start another annual cook-off. And who else to narrate the events as they unfold but the city's number one charmer? Just kidding, it's me, Travis, your ever affable lost numbers lieutenant. Let's start by introducing our expert panel of judges. The lucky four adjudicators for this year's incredible turnout are. Drum roll, please. Gondor! You've been begging to be a judge for ages now. Looks like it's your lucky day. Oi! Don't you bloody patronize me! You'll be laughing on the other side of your face if you're not careful. Ahem, <clears throat> moving swiftly on. You fancy yourself an avid foodie? Well, let's see how you measure up to the wise and erudite well well. Next up, a lover of music and all things lyrical, it's Mr. Boomer. He's got a refined palate for music and food, and I'm sure he's about to give us a piece of his mind. Last but not least, we have our youngest judge on record. Introducing San. 
Far as I can tell, he just plain enjoys food. He'll eat whatever you can throw at him. <laughs> yeah, give me all your food. We want you four to judge the meals on their own merits as honestly as possible. Now, let's introduce our chefs. First up's our lost numbers ace cook, Nisik. So, how are you feeling? Think you've got the potential to be numero uno? <laughs> Watch it, you. No intimidating the judges. You're gonna scare the kid. You wanna settle the score? You do it with food. Calm and peaceful-like. Next up, it's our very own boss. Or should that be Elder? Uh, oh, uh, let's just say... Uh, Madam Monica. Just stick to the usual. Who's next? All right, boss it is. Next, we have Uro Boris's very own queen of cuisine, Manana. Manana ready to steal away hearts and stomachs of all. And whispers on the grapevine tell me our last contestant is a rising star. She's everyone's sweetheart, Miss Miyabi. You go, girl. <gasps> And those are our four entrants for today. Shall we get started? Then, Nisik, if you'd like to reveal the meal. Feast your eyes on this. So cool. Well, well, well. Applying heat cause emergence of emerald green undertones. Shell gradually turns loose as it shine with beryl glaze. Behold, the jade lobster. Is this thing edible? Mmm. <sighs> hey, this is pretty tasty and juicy. Mm. Contrary to expectation, taste pop and lock inside mouth. Big bang of umami fill entire taste buds! Hey, how are you supposed to eat this? I don't get it. Maybe Nisik would be kind enough to assist. I beg your pardon? Let's check in with our next culinary combatant. It's our very own boss. <laughs> I'll find a chink in your armor. My dish is the Monicurry Special. Oh, come on! How's that bear? Oh, it's got tasty sausages in it. Well, well, well. Well, well, only heard rumors, but Monicurry said to be legendary meal among lost numbers. I'll have me some of that. Of course you would. <laughs> of course you would, oh, senpai. Damn you, bitch queen. You got the spice in a spot on. <laughs> These vegetables. Flavor normally distinctive yet subtly veiled here, and spiciness perfectly compensate. But despite this, single plate appear positively heaped with nutrition. Is dish spice renowned or something deeper? Ah, it's making my tongue all prickly. <laughs> Oops, guess the kids' taste buds weren't quite prepared for that just yet. <laughs> Funny. Everyone normally loves the stuff. Did I add too much lucky spice? I'm sure your bellies are gradually getting rounder, but there's plenty more where that came from. The next contender is... Manana! Finally! Time for big moment! Delicious dish of Manana is... Secret recipe of Nupon, passed down in greatest of stealthy, 
Or rather, little spin on traditional version. Doodle Noodles! Manana style! Prepare for taste beyond taste! That looks yummy! This is gonna be awesome! Wow! That's gonna be a banger! Tears of Well Well might form small pool. To think Nopon exists that could recreate a recipe of legend. Oh. <laughs> Is Boomer <Buma> Santa? <laughs> 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 Time. Taste is beyond compare. Such level of extravagant. Well, well, good, well. Rocket into skies above. How the crap is this so good? I don't know what to say. Oh, the competition's fierce, but we've got one more dish lined up for you all. Take it away, Miyabi. Okay. Here's the meal I'll be presenting today. Oh. Huh. It doesn't look very special. I guess when you put it alongside the others, yeah. But it clearly made with love. Preparation of dish reflect nature of chef, and this no exception. Put it. Comforting. Hmm. So understated, yet so palatable. Hard to express in words. Like warmth filling entire body. I eat this fish all the time, but I don't think it's ever been this tasty before. Gosh, I wonder how she prepared it. I'd love to know. Same. Where do we go and ask her once the contest's over? May, you have the best ideas. Now that looks scrumptious. They look like they're loving the soy primo sauce too. To break it to you folks, but it's time for the judges to make their decision. Which of these four outstanding meals has satisfied their stomachs? I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. The winner of this year's cooking contest is... Congratulations, Manana. <laughs> Feels good at top. Better luck next time, Yabby. Thanks, everyone. You all helped me so much. I didn't make first place, but I'm glad everyone got the chance to try my food. Manana was kind enough to raise the idea. Thank you, Manana. Huh? Not to mention. It would be terrible shame for friends to miss out on delicious nom noms of Miyabi. Nissik looks in a right mood. I can hear you. Can't let him get away with this, though, can we? 
We'll lend you a hand next time. Hmm. How'd you like the monocari, Gondor? Why are you asking me? Same as you always make it. The name's dumb, though. Can you come up with something better? You say that every time. I don't see the problem, personally. I actually kind of like it. I'm not asking your opinion. I'm saying it's freaking embarrassing. I've still got some left, by the way. You want a bowl or not? Don't change the subject. And of course I want a bowl. contest was so much fun. Maximum agree. Plus was big learning experience. Can see my Nana need to greatly expand repertoire. Ah. If that's your plan, would you mind teaching me some more about cooking? Nana? Even though me Abby already plenty good at cooking. Oh, I'm honored that you'd say so. But I really don't have a lot of experience. I'd love it if you could teach me some more. Ah! Then let my Nana pick up what Miyabi putting down. Miyabi asking to become apprentice of my Nana? That's right. If it's not a problem. No problem! My Nana welcome with open wings! Oh, that's wonderful! Thank you, my Nana. Ah! Before my Nana forget. I should snaffle up recipes of Monica and Nisik while still have chance. Oh, good idea. Let's do that. Hey, Miyabi. You did great there. Your food was amazing. Yeah. <sighs> I said before that I did this for the city. Of course, they were the highest priority in my mind. But really, it was for the both of you. I so wanted you to try it. It was for us? This world, it's filled with nothing but tragedy and hardship for us. But now, after coming here, that feels like a distant dream. Yeah, that's right. You've always kept my wishes in your heart, haven't you? That's why you brought me here, right? Because we're alive. We get to see these sights. Thank you. <sighs> no, Miyabi. Thank you. And thank you for that quest. <laughs> Simple quest. You know what? Huh. I like it. Would you believe it? And I think for me, that pretty much encompasses uh, me, Abby, in general. No need for any grand, extravagant things, just, hey, simple, unstated. It puts a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Every single thing about that quest pretty much encompasses that theme. The simplicity of cooking, a simplicity of just like killing one monster and just like getting ingredients, simple choice of, hey, me, Abby, or Manana. I don't know. Fits me, I'll be to a T, I feel. And that's what makes her a compelling character. You just want to hug her. Gorgeous. Poxy must be making some soy primo sauce. Well. I was kind of surprised because I was expecting something like them going back to Colony Omega or or, or them like talking about how like Minami or Minami. <laughs> Minami Kyo. <laughs> Miyabi's klutz. Like, like how it affects her. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like for me, it encompasses Miyabi's new start. 
Like, Granny Omega wasn't, you know, a journey start. It was with Mio, and uh, again, it's just simple things. And like, considering how we had like Kamarabi and Ethel on the same thing, I really think that should have been Monana's Ascension quest too. Not to deal with Timpapa and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. But, hey, for what it was though, simple, clean, and smooth. You know what? I really like it. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we have more intel. And it seems like we have more things to talk about and so much to do. But that means there's one more hero quest to go, so... We better ship up and we better ship out. Because mm -hmm. we got a lot of things to take care of. So guys, I think next episode... We'll have to see what we gotta do. Until then, and thank you very much for watching. And of course, if you like this episode, then please be sure to like it. And if you want to subscribe and follow us on the Zealand Blue Chronicles region, then by all means, subscribe to see more. Until then, see you next time. And just on one final note, cooking is great. Just try it one of these days. I prefer baking, to be honest. <laughs> baking, cooking, for me, it's the simple things that make you happy. And even after a work long days, just cooking something for you and your wife. Simple. But it puts a smile on your face every time. I'm glad. <laughs> Until then, guys. See you next time. Uh. Fans are watching. Let's grab a snack. <laughs>